Life is never completely without its challenges. My challenge? I was in deep, 25 large, with these nutcases seated next to me. I love gambling. I love the rush it gives me. It's all I know how to do. I had a decent winning hand and nothing else left to lose. Except my skin. Screw it. Like you said, screw it. So you guys got some cojones on you, don't ya? It's time to turn over, gentlemen and lady. Not so fast, sweetheart. Better luck next time. <laughs> There's not going to be a next time. Prophet, come on, just one game, I promise. No more games, Andrea. You lost. Just one game, please. You know I'm good for it. I'll pay you back in everything and more. I just need a little gimme and you'll get- I'll get what is owed to me. This was the game that you promised me you'd be able to pay me back with. You come here with half that money and try to win the other half? I don't know where you came up with 12K before, but you're getting me the rest of my money now. Uh, I can't. What do you mean you can't? That was all I had. I gave everything away. To the Mexicans, to the Russians, to the Poles, and to you. I, I don't have any more. Pity. Do you believe in God, Andrea? I didn't at first. I mean, think about it. How can one have sway over an in-number amount of people who obey without question or protest? I never thought he could exist. But then, I found him. This is God. Everyone believes in it, obeys it. Those who don't get sacrificed. Suddenly, I felt a summer breeze, even though it was winter. My skin felt like cashmere, and my hair like silk. It was in intense, yet gentle rush deep within. It was... intoxicating. Damn it! I need to get out of town fast. I don't know what's happening to me. 
But more importantly, I need cash to get the hell out of town. There it is again. That feeling. Like the warm sun hitting my face. What kind of freak are you? Why did you do that? He'll never touch you again. He's a good man. He's just a little drunk and so he didn't mean nothing by it. You freak! Hey, I was just trying to help you. Get out! I didn't mean... I was just trying to help. It feels so cold. I need to feel that amazing warmth again. But how? apartment. She wasn't there, but one of the neighbors said some weird woman burst into the apartment and threw her boyfriend across the room. The description fit Angela's T, but she didn't see what direction she ran off in. So you haven't found her? No. So why did you come back? Are you familiar why I have the nickname The Prophet? Prophets are God's messengers, and as their faithful soldiers, they were given women, food, and riches. As a prophet, I was given access to this city, and within it, the best food, the best women, and an unquestionable wealth. You know what else prophets had over their disciples? Power. Rocky. Boss, you okay? Never better. I want this brought found and brought to me by any means necessary. You got that? Yes, sir. Get out of here. Find her. Any means necessary. Hey, boss! Boss! We got company. Wonderful.
had to do with pay me back my money. Andrea, listen. Maybe, maybe you don't have to pay me back. We could be partners. Screw you! Don't be stupid about this. With your powers and my connection, all will bow to us. I, as a faithful prophet, and you, my angel. This city would be ours. All ours, for the taking. How does that sound? Sounds like a blast. Give a hot damn what you do or where you go. I don't want to see you again. Some days having power is a blessing. Some days it's a curse. I spent the last month learning to harness this power, satisfying that wonderful craving that I get when using it. Sure, I can use these powers for good. We think you are, eh? But I don't care, as long as I can experience that feeling. Be a hero. Who the hell are you? Some kind of hero? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just in it for the rush. <laughs>